So you want to invest in real estate, but you don't have the tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of dollars necessary in order to acquire a property, develop the property, and either flip it for profit or uh, lease it out for rental income. Well, what's a budding real estate uh, mogul to do? Well, that'll be the subject of this video. Hi, I'm John McNeil, and this is the Invest Strong Network. Welcome. Real estate investment trust are your answer. What is a REIT, as they are known? Well, a REIT is basically a portfolio of properties that are owned and professionally managed by a company whose underlying shares are sold on the stock exchange. Now, there are, in fact, hundreds of different REITs that are publicly traded, and there's some for everyone. So, if you are interested in apartment buildings, they're there. If you want to invest in uh, office buildings, there are REITs for that. If you're interested in investing in shopping centers or malls or uh, things along those lines, there are REITs for that also. But there are also specialty REITs. And these are REITs that are, uh, they hold properties that are really not usually considered as real estate investments, so to speak. They may own uh, distribution centers or even self-storage lockers and even cell phone towers and utility poles and things like that. So how do you acquire shares of REITs? Well, if you do like I do, you can acquire shares um, in any number of REITs with, a, with an initial investment of as low as $250 if you invest through a dividend reinvestment plan. Now, with a dividend reinvestment plan, uh, you have the option of uh, either reinvesting uh, the dividend income and acquiring more shares, or you can have the income paid out directly to you uh, in cash form, right? The real great thing about owning REITs is that you have, first of all, low initial entry, right? And then also you have liquidity, maximum liquidity. So if you want to sell your shares at any time, you can do that. You can take your profit, invest it somewhere else, do whatever, you know, and you don't have to put a property on the market and hire an agent and do all of those things that you would if you held uh, the real estate uh, directly, right? That's a blessing. Also, you don't have to worry about tenants calling you at two o'clock in the morning because a pipe is burst or, or, or there's some kind of electrical short or something like that. No, no. You have professionals managing this portfolio of properties and, and you are basically wash your hands uh, free of it. You just collect your rent and go your merry way. So that's a blessing. Now, I've been investing in REITs for about 20 years now. And in that time, I've invested in dozens of different REITs. Some have performed spectacularly, others not so much. And so what I was hoping to do in this particular video is to uh, give you some background on my experiences and, uh, and maybe some suggestions that could benefit you going forward. All right. So my best performer of all of my uh, REITs and not just REITs, in the REIT universe, but also in my portfolio overall is has been a, a REIT called Entertainment Property Trust, ticker symbol EPR. Now, EPR invests in um, cinemas, movie theaters, and things like that. They own those, and uh, they collect rent from the uh, movie chains uh, that uh, own, that uh, show their movies in the said theaters. They collect that rent, 
spend it out to their, uh, their investors in the form of dividends. EPR is currently yielding um, 6.40% on the dividend yield and its total return since I've owned it has been some 14% annual, right? That has, that has been a spectacular return on investment uh, since I've owned it. And I own it through a dividend reinvestment uh, plan and the minimum investment is a mere $250 mark EPR down, right? Uh, two uh, other very significant winners in the category of apartment REITs, equity residential uh, trust, ticker symbol EQR, very successful, very well-managed company. Um, uh, they own premium properties uh, and the dividend yield is uh, 82 I'm sorry, 2.81%. And uh, initial investment through a dividend reinvestment plan is uh, $250, right? Uh, also along those lines is another uh, REIT that invests in uh, apartment buildings, Equi Essex Realty. Yes, e Essence Property Trust. <laughs> Bit of a tongue twister there. Yes, ticker symbol ESS, currently yielding 2.59%. Yielding, uh, it owns property buildings, uh, uh, apartment buildings, mostly on the West Coast. It has been a very, very substantial performer in the uh, some two decades or so uh, that I've owned it. Now, uh, I want to add two of the recommended list, uh, Boston Properties, ticker symbol BXP. They owned they own office buildings in the New England area, also along the West Coast, and they're currently yielding uh, 2.87%. BXP is a very, very well managed company, and in fact, it has performed more like a growth stock than than um, than a REIT in the time that I've owned it. And the total return is somewhere in the area of 13% annual since I've owned it. So I would definitely uh, recommend BXP. Now, uh, there is, here are some of the laggards that I've had and perhaps you might want to look out for. These are basically REITs that have invested in, again, shopping malls and strip centers and things like that. And of course, that makes sense. Uh, online retailing has just been killing shopping malls and retail centers. And the, uh, many of the stores that are anchors to, uh, to these centers uh, are having financial problems. Some are going bankrupt. Sears, right? Uh, JCPenney's, Toys R Us, others, right? So when you look at that particular part of the REIT universe, you would want to avoid. So I have owned shares in REITs such as Simon Properties, ticker symbol SPG, Mesa Ridge, ticker symbol MAC, Pennsylvania Realty Trust, ticker symbol PEI, and Washington Real Estate, ticker symbol uh, WRE. Now, some of them have very high dividend yields, that would make sense since their share prices have been getting clobbered over the last years, thus pushing up their yields. Don't be tempted. In my opinion, I wouldn't touch those. They are in a deteriorating part of the REIT universe. Now, what if you want to invest in REITs, but you don't have the time or the resources to go and evaluate all these companies and figure out which one's for you and things like that? Well, there's an answer for that also. You can invest in a REIT mutual fund, right? And you can have, you can take advantage of a professional REIT an analysis analyst that will uh, put together a portfolio and you can buy shares in that mutual fund and uh, collect the dividends from the mutual fund and not have to be involved in the analysis yourself. So there are really two that I would suggest you give attention to. 
The first is a Vanguard REIT Index Fund. Now it's managed by, owned and managed by Vanguard Group, which is kind of like the Walmart of mutual funds. Very large uh, selection, very low prices. And in this instance, um, they have the lowest uh, management fee of any of the mutual funds, REIT mutual funds that I've seen. Uh, management fee, a mere 0.12%. Right. So that would be a blessing. Initial investment, uh, three thousand dollars. I would definitely suggest um, Vanguard Realist REIT Index Fund. However, the last time I looked, this particular mutual fund is unfortunately closed to new investors. So uh, as much as it would be a great idea to put your money there, at least for the meantime, it's close to new investors. But what is open to new investors is the Fidelity Real Estate Income Fund. Now, its management fee is a little bit higher at 0.75%, right? But it is open to new investors and it has zero minimum initial investment to buy the shares. Isn't that something? So with as little as $50 or $100, you can begin to build your real estate uh, portfolio by owning shares in this REIT mutual fund. Now, there is one last thing I want to uh, call your attention to, and that is the tax implications of owning either REIT shares or shares of REIT mutual funds. And that's this. Again, the Congress and the IRS, in their infinite wisdom, has have decided to tax the uh, dividends from REITs differently than they would tax uh, dividends from operating companies that trade on the stock exchange, right? So uh, the dividend income that you would receive from a REIT investment would be uh, tax at the same level that uh, interest income you would receive from a bank account or CD or something like that, which is essentially to say it would be taxed at the same rate as your regular income would be and not the lower rate of capital gains or dividends that you would get from uh, owning a regular stock, right? So you would definitely want to talk with your uh, own tax preparer or financial uh, analyst and figure out, you know, how that plays into uh, your decision to own REIT shares. But with that taken into consideration, REITs are really a great way to go to, uh, to get a real estate um, portfolio built with a minimum of initial uh, uh, capital. Thank you.